Salute, salute, salute All my generals, all my lions, all my real men All my kings, all my queens, all my princesses Y'all already know what it is, it's your boy True, this is Lions and Men We are not promoting gang violence Or gangs Activities Point blank, period, in any shape, way, or form This is only for educational purposes And entertainment purposes only Now, let's get into it I almost messed that up <laughs> So Let's get into it. Y'all already know what it is, man. It's your boy True, man. Um, definitely got an official update for y'all. So this is for those that don't know, um, Blue Boy, you know, or heard of Blue Boy, you know, he's a legendary um person. At the end of the day, this man um, you know, planted that blue flag down for his comrades was very consistent at, at, at being one type of way and he was who he was and, and it was that's it and nothing else and he still is that person to this day it appears unfortunately for him that led him to be incarcerated now for an attempted murder when he was working at a, as a security guard for Big Baby from Boston Celtics I believe he played and this guy gave him a job as a security guard. Blue Boy ended up disarming the person that was trying to rob the store. Ended up shooting him, disarming him. Ends up getting booked because he was already on parole. And now he's locked up for attempted murder and he's trying to beat the case. He's fighting the case. Trying to use, um, there is no stand your own ground in the state of New York, unfortunately. So due to that, he is trying to get around that and try to use a self-defense um, law on his side as a defense. And he's also the update that's um, good to know or, yeah, I mean, some type of news to inform me, everybody on this wants to be aware of Blue Boy. Nobody's talking about Blue Boy. We need to um, definitely show that we still support and have love for this man because he is fighting for his freedom again. Um, they trying to get him bail, <clears throat> trying to get a parole bail for him. And um, this is what I heard through a, a third party. And they explained to me that they're working on basically getting him um, a bail, affordable bail for him to continue on fighting his case. So hopefully he's able to um, get that. And if he does, that'll be great because, you know, he can have a better chance of beating his case i hope that big baby is supporting him and doing stuff for him because at the end of the day you gave this man a position and a job and you knew that this dude was literally a killer in every sense of the word so for you to put him in a position where now this guy is in prison again because he was defending a store that's yours and because you put him in a position where he has to defend something he's going to defend it he's going to go out all the way now he's in prison and now it's not necessarily your fault i wouldn't say that it's necessarily big baby's fault but at the end of the day it's definitely not um, a good look that you put him in a position to where he could actually be right back where he's at, unfortunately, due to the fact that he was who he was. He's a killer, and he only knows how to be one way, and you should have known better than that. So for that, you know, Big Baby definitely lost a lot of points on that point, on that note, and you got to definitely do something for this man because – I hope that you're looking out for the family and I hope you're doing everything that you have to do. People need to share this and need to show it to Big Baby because at the end of the day, Big um, Blue Boy is uh, a man that lost all his life to prison and ended up being a straight, you know, mindset of a, a gorilla in jail because that's all he knew since a baby. You know, and you want him to break that mold so he could be home and have that mindset different, you know, tone it down a little bit because you're not in prison. And it's unfortunate that I heard that it was an interview with China Mac and China Mac said that. Yeah, I quote China Mac on this one. He said that Blue Boy and him had a conversation and China Mac said that Blue Boy told him that something about where he wouldn't care if he was going back to prison and be like, OK, type of nonchalantly saying like, you know, not rather be in prison, but he'll be in prison today. He wouldn't even care. It'd be all right for him. He'd be fine. And that that that's sad. You know what I'm saying that just goes to show you the mindset of some the mindset of somebody that's been incarcerated for so long that you think about prison, it's almost like a second home to him. Actually a first home. Because he was in jail so long that that's the only thing that he does know. 
So God bless Blue Boy and his family. Salute the Blue Boy. This is just a quick update on the Blue Boy situation that they're going to try to work on getting him bail. And due to the fact that there's a lot of laws that change in the state of New York, I find this um, statement to be true. How true it is, I don't know. This is allegedly through third party. So it's hearsay. So do not um, quote me on this. But that's what I heard that Blue Boy, the peoples is over there working on trying to get him um, bailed out. And that it looks like it's looking good that he may be getting bailed out soon. How true that is, I do not know. Like I said again this is third party but you know salute the blue boy and i hope that it is true and that he does get bailed out other than that i got something for y'all later on tonight i'll be should be online with miss jackson and we're going to be continuing the conversation that we had yesterday and that are going to be talk part two of the video so y'all already know what it is man hit the like hit the share hit the subscribe the cash app is love lions love that's l-i-l-i-o-n-s skip L-O-V-E, just like it sounds, Lions Loves. You want to donate anything to the cause, it'll definitely be appreciated, and it'll go straight to Lions and Men. Y'all already know what it is. Boom, boom, boom. Let's go.